Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central here with a video review of two products from a company called 180S, or maybe that's 180s, which specializes in wearable technology. We have their Bluetooth ear warmers and their wired ear warmers. What's special about these, obviously they're both ear warmers, which you might think of as ear muffs. They are worn behind the head and each of these can be used as headphones as well as for making calls. We'll start by looking at the wired ear warmers as they're a little bit simpler. You can see they come in black, very soft on the outside. On the inside they are also kind of fuzzy, very nice feeling on your ears. And right here is where the And right here is where the headset cable plugs in. It is removable. There we go. Looking at the cord itself, that is where you'll find the wired headset's microphone, which can be used to end calls. And it plugs into your phone's headset jack or any device which supports headphones. Now you can't actually wear these headphones to hear exactly what they sound like, but I do have it plugged in and we're listening to one of my videos on YouTube. The sound comes through very clearly despite the padding involved. And if you have to listen to music or a podcast out in the cold, then these are just going to feel really good on your ears. This model costs a little bit less than the Bluetooth model. I believe it's about $30 or so. Let's look at the Bluetooth version, which is a little bit more complex. The Bluetooth version charges via micro USB. Let's see where that connects. It's on the inside of the right earphone, I believe. Difficult to see. Plugging in the cord on plugging in the cord on the Bluetooth headset is actually my least favorite thing about it. It's kind of a major design flaw in that it's a pain in the butt to get the cord in there. These things constantly want to close. They won't just stay spread open. And it's kind of designed in a way that you can't easily just reveal the port. But the port is in there and if you look at the way that the cord goes in, eventually you'll get it. There we go. Another time it took me like five straight minutes of trying, but I'm getting a little better at it. And it helps if you have better lighting. My apartment at home is kind of dim. So anyway, it takes about three and a half hours to fully charge these. That's not bad. To pair them with your device, you press and hold this button for eight seconds and then choose to pair it on the device itself. And just to turn it on, you press and hold it for about six seconds. So let's do that. It's only got this one button. It makes a beeping sound and you can see it light up when it comes on. If it was pairing, it would keep blinking really rapidly. Now to answer a call when you're wearing this, you just press the button once and you'll answer it. Pressing once also hangs up. Double tapping rejects a call. And when, let's, let's see if it's properly paired. Okay, you can hear it. Sound, again, is very clear. I've worn these a lot walking around outside in the cold. And I just love the way they sound. And they are really comfortable. Both headsets are one size fits most. If your head is particularly large, they might tend to slip off a little bit. But for the most part, they'll just comfortably sit on the back of your head, hug your ears, make the back of your neck and your ears feel very warm. You can wear a hat over your head while you're wearing this just fine, and that way you're covering a lot of your head with warmth. Here's the actual microphone used when making calls. Let's try the pausing. Pause the video. 
and resume. Very handy. These Bluetooth headphones cost about $60 or $70. Obviously that's a lot more expensive for something that you may wear only seasonally. If you live in a very cold environment, then you'll get a lot more use out of these than somebody like me who lives in Texas and only has like maybe two months of cold out of the year. But they're just such a cool accessory for when you have things to do out in the cold. Obviously you can use it to listen to music, to podcasts, or maybe even to somebody's Twitch stream using the appropriate app, such as HStream for Windows Phone, which supports playing only the audio without the video on. I like both of these a lot. The Bluetooth versions come in three colors, blue, white, or black. The corded version just comes in black, I think. With the corded version, you don't have to worry about charging, but you do have a cable that you have to take with you at all times. Bluetooth version, you don't have to worry about the cable except when you're charging. It gets about eight hours of battery life while listening to music, which is not exceptional, but pretty good. If you just leave it on in standby while you're not listening to anything, it'll last for about 100 hours. Again, these come from 180S, and you can get them from the company's website or from Amazon. Thanks for watching. Read our full review at windowscentral.com.